A horrific bombing at Britain's largest concert arena. There are, quote, a number of confirmed fatalities. The death toll rising to 22 overnight. How safe are you when you go to a large sporting event or concert? Uh, we're a desirable target. California is a big target with large arenas, stadiums, and venues up and down the state. We'll take you behind the scenes at what's being done to keep you safe. Plus, while well, I'm busy watching a game, I need your help in keeping an eye on the stands. How you can become a true life crime fighter. Yeah, hi, I just saw the weirdest thing. Coming up on this week's edition of Inside Look. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian May. Welcome to Oracle Arena and game one of the NBA Finals. Close to 20,000 fans going to be packed in here to watch the Golden State Warriors take on the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's a good backdrop for us because in light of the events that happened in Manchester, England last week, we wanted to focus our inside look on large stadiums. Just how safe are you when you're in a crowd this size? We begin our coverage with Sean Boyd, who is at the new Golden One Center in Sacramento. It is quiet and it is dark here at Golden One, but don't let that fool you because security is always watching 24 seven, especially during games and events. In fact, there's more than meets the eye when it comes to spectator safety. How about that shot by Ben McLemore? The new Golden One Center in downtown Sacramento is the NBA's newest premier arena. A little as Benny Mac, a boy, oh wow. boy, Benny Mac. A sellout game crowd of more than 17,000. 19,000 for concerts like its first, Paul McCartney. But long before the venue opened and crowds filled seats, safety was a priority. So we're here at Golden One Center's Mission Control. Sergeant Bryce Heinlein is one of several officers from the Sacramento PD who can be stationed in the nerve center at the arena. It's part of Golden One Center's Experience Center. Police, fire, security, and other important department staff fill this room every time there's a game or event. It's really cl about collaboration and making sure everybody's on the same page about what is going on at the arena at any specific time. They monitor everything in here, from the sidewalks and traffic outside to the seats and foot traffic inside. Well, it looks like we have social media pulled up here as well. Yes, social media posts about the event going on are treated as valuable intel. We're constantly uh, monitoring uh, social media feeds to see what the top topics are or to see what's trending. Um, it's just an information gathering spot for us to be able to get information and disseminate. And since they're all in the same room, they can share any of it instantly and accurately with each other should an incident happen. Conceptually, it's like the Cal OES State Operations Center, but on a much smaller scale. Entertainment venues are a safety focus at Cal OES through our large stadium initiative. After all, California has 39 million residents and is now the fifth largest economy in the world. We're a desirable target. As the state's top cop, Cal OES law enforcement chief Mark Pazin made sure Cal OES was involved in safety planning for Golden One Center. And Super Bowl 50 is underway. As well as Levi Stadium and Super Bowl 50. The recent violence in Manchester accentuates that need. That level of violence has been risen, which again necessitates that we rise to that level of vigilance and preparedness. But with all the planning, all the cooperation and technology, safe public events can always use your help. Remember, if you see something, say something. We encourage the public to come to us, engage us in conversation. So we rely on um, our visitors here or our community to bring things to our attention um, and to work together to make it a safe environment. And here's a nice lob and a finish by Willie Cauley-Stein. Quick factoid for you. Get this, there are more than 700 television monitors in this entire arena, many of which are devoted to your safety. Hey, Sean, I know the Golden One Center has been open less than a year, but I understand they already have a huge feather in their cap, don't they? Yeah, a real big feather. Get this, they just won the Sports Business Journal's Facility of the Year, and that puts them in elite company like Levi Stadium and Cowboy Stadium. So that's uh, it's great for them. Sean, that's great. Thanks. And I know one of the reasons that Golden One did get this award is because of their attention to security. Well, as you just heard, you are on the front lines when you come to an event like this. You can imagine the number of people working to keep you safe, but they still do need your help. Let's now go to Monica Vargas. 
Hey, thanks, Brian. Whether you're at the NBA Finals or your local Friday night football game, it's important for you to stay alert and know what to do if something just doesn't feel right. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security's See Something, Say Something campaign wants to educate you on what you can do to help keep your community safe. This campaign also has a ton of resources available that you can share with your friends, family, and your community, just like this simple but powerful PSA. I pay attention for a living. I watch plays and make important calls. While I'm busy watching the game, I need your help in keeping an eye on the stands. We all play a role in protecting our communities. If you see something suspicious, make the right call. Tell a law enforcement official. So, it's really important that you pay attention to your surroundings. If you see something or someone's behavior that seems suspicious, don't keep it to yourself. Contact your local law enforcement. That activity may be completely innocent, but we'll leave that to law enforcement to determine. And remember, if it's an emergency, call 911. All right, Monica, thank you. Great advice. And I can say from personal experience here, before joining Cal OES, I was a television sportscaster for the last 30 years. I covered five Super Bowls, four World Series, and I've been at the last two NBA Finals in this building. I've seen the thousands of man hours put in to keep you safe at large events like this, but as you have heard, you are on the front lines. They can't do it without you. It's very simple. If you see something, say something. To see more videos like the ones you've seen today or any of the stories by our team, you can go to oesnews.com. You can also like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And that will do it for this week's edition of Inside Look. From game one of the NBA Finals here at Oracle Arena in Oakland, I'm Brian May for all of us at Cal OES. Thanks for watching. Thank you.